It's just mental. Yeah. Like it's, it's been, been very busy. Yeah, and like we, it's just so I had a sister-in-law's wedding on the 28th, and then the whole of Christmas was built around that. Then with sickness, then we went to Disney. That was going to be our break after Christmas, and then we got home, and the young fella got the vomit and bug. Took seven people out with him. So it was, how about you go? We just better do this. Neve, I suppose here we are, not, not only the start of the Six Nations, but the start of what is arguably the, the year of your rugby career, of the squad's rugby career. It's, um, it's one to embrace, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you obviously know what's coming at the end of the, at the, end of the road, I suppose, in August. But um, we've got to really live in the moment and live in the now and concentrate on the job in hand because I think as a squad we do, we do ourselves a terrible service if we were to think about August and not think about Scotland in nine days time so um, yeah look obviously it's a hugely exciting year but one that we're reining ourselves in from to try and concentrate on, on what, what we have to do. And how satisfied are you then as a group with where you're at ahead of the start of the Six Nations Championship next week? Yeah we're in a really good place I think you know obviously November the results didn't go our way but I think when we look back objectively and see you know the amount of new caps that we've led and, and parts of the performance was, was really really good and um, it's just now about marrying the, the blend of old and new and then consistently putting that performance together for 80 minutes so um, yeah look, we had a good hit out against Wales last Sunday it was really good for the squad and you know we could train and train but 80 minutes is always a really beneficial thing for us so um, we, look, we obviously have a lot of work to do in terms of keep you know moving forward and keep learning but um, yeah I think, you know we're definitely in a good space. And when we look at it it is is this now the most competitive championship you'll have played in? Do you think that the, the standard across the board, the teams have just all come so much closer together? Yeah, hugely. I think every year, you know, the gaps in relation to results and, and foregone conclusions are, are, are a thing of no more, I think, because everybody now has started to reach those levels of professionalism in terms of how they conduct themselves off the pitch and, um, and then how they, you know, they're integrated on it. So, um, look, it's, it's, it's really close difficult to uh, try and call but hopefully we'll be in there and with a shout on Paddy's Day and um, we'll get a good result. Is it something you've talked about that you know ultimately the Six Nations will be seen as the springboard for the World Cup later on in the year? That is, is it crucial, critical to have a good Six Nations to drive into a good World Cup? No, obviously you'd like it. We haven't really spoken about the World Cup to be honest with you. We can't because of, of, of what's coming so close and so, so quickly. You know, we don't, you know, it's not like we're professional and we're together every day. You know, we have to really maximise the time that we're together. So um, at weekends, it's very much about Scotland and Six Nations, and that's all it can be. Obviously, you'd like to have a good Six Nations in terms of what's coming down the road, but just to define our World Cup, absolutely not. Just to talk about the, the stature then of the Women's Six Nations, because there's increased television output across the way they've talked about increasing the standard of facilities, everything else. It's Some people will say it's long overdue, which might be a debate for another day, but it's it's great for women's rugby, it's great for women's sport and you know anything that increases the standard of the experience for people is to be embraced. Oh absolutely and look you know you're 100 percent right I think we have to embrace it for what it is now and, and where we're going with it and it's it's, it's huge it's exciting to see it on such an upward curve I think um, you know the, the TV thing and the streaming is, is being huge for us because it just brings us to a wider audience not only that it, it reaches out to younger girls that may want to take up the game and, and it shows them and it gives a role model a sense so yeah, look, it's really exciting, and I think it's brilliant to see it. And you know, hopefully, you know, we'll give them something to share about. Brilliant. Fair play to you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Look after yourself. Yeah. Thanks as well.